Hi everybody and welcome to uh, this short series of what I'm going to call rough and ready tutorials. These are going to be just some quick reminders of some of the content and the models and the ideas that we shared uh, in the first module, just to give you an opportunity to get back up to speed before we start the second module next week. Okay, so I'm just going to first of all start with this one. Um, this is going to be about the SIRE model and this is the process for running a coaching session. So this is the structure and the model that gives you the process to run a coaching session. And the point about SIRE is that it's designed to help you move a coachee from think into feel and into know, and then back up to thinking again. And the purpose of this is to really give a structure to create the fullest journey possible. Because if you keep people in think, then they're only going to scratch the surface and they're never going to go into the true drama of the situation. So the shift is going to be very small. If you keep people just in feel, they'll really get into the drama of it, but they'll never get any conviction. So you've got to move them from that structure of think into the full drama so they can really work out what's going on for them and why they need to change and feel, and then get to that point of conviction and clarity in knowing, and then return them back up to think to make sure that they've got a really key structured action plan. So let's start with the first stage. Hopefully you can see this. This is the S and the S stands for specific agenda and situation. So what do we need a specific agenda for? We need to get real clarity on what the coachee wants to achieve in this particular session. If we just ask the question, what would you like to talk about today? All you're gonna have is a very general conversation and you won't really achieve anything. So you need to invest time up front in making sure you've got a really clear understanding of what specifically they want to achieve in that particular coaching session. Okay, so once we've got our specific agenda, then we move into the situation part. And this is just a safe opportunity for the client to start exploring what the facts of the situation, what the tangible details of the situation are that they want to address. So they may talk about the who's in the relationship that they want to be discussing, what their tangible needs or objectives are in terms of tasks or projects, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And you're just trying to create the picture around this situation with the objective facts or tangibles to start exploring the safe way before they start going into what the drama of the situation is and the impact that it's having on them. So once they've talked about their situation, um, which may be that they feel they're struggling with workload, that they've got a tricky relationship with their manager, their manager's micromanaging them, could be in this situation, um, certain operational problems about coming back to work. So it could be a great many things, but the key here in terms of impact is to say okay at an emotional level what impact is this having on you and is it a big enough deal to make you want to do something about it so they really need to explore the emotional impact of this situation to get a sense check of whether it's really worth investing and exploring the potential responses and choices and really making commitments to change to then create a different outcome. So if you don't really focus on impact enough, you'll get a very shallow conversation. Okay, so they've got a specific agenda. They know specifically what they want to achieve in this particular session. And we've got an understanding of the objective facts around this situation who the key characters are, what's been going on, what the dynamics have been, what the interactions are, et cetera, et cetera. We then drop them into feel with feeling type questions, which basically says, impact, is this a big enough deal for you to want to do something about? And if you've really explored that and given them a chance to get in touch with what's meaningful around this situation to them and how big a deal it is and the drama is significant enough for them to want to do something about it, we can then move into this stage, which is response. What are the potential responses you could make to this situation in order to create a change? What choices do you have in front of you? And how radical could your choices be to create the biggest shift of all? 
And once you've explored those potential choices, those potential responses, it then moves into what are you prepared to take responsibility for? If you don't want this situation, what do you want? And then if they've really focused on that, more conviction, more instinctual understanding of what it is they need to do, and you can help them that by making your questions even shorter, leaving more space, letting them really wrestle with their responsibility. You should have now allowed them to create a set of choices or maybe one or two choices or maybe even one choice that they're prepared to make to change the situation, which allows you to go into the final stage, the ending or execution stage to say, okay, what specifically are you going to do? How are you going to know if you've been successful? And also whose help might you need in order to execute this desired action? So there you go. That's a quick reminder of SIA. We'll have some more opportunity to talk about it in the session next week. But um, any questions, as always, feel free to get in touch.